my friends, Senator James Inhofe, an Oklahoma Republican, is calling for a criminal investigation into ClimateGate, into the entire hoax and fraud of global warming, and he wants Al Gore to be investigated and perhaps charged with perjury and lying to Congress. I want to hear from you. Is Senator James Inhofe right? Should there be an investigation? And should Al Gore be prosecuted for perjury? I want to hear from you. 301-984-9570 is the number. 301-984-9570 is the number. Let's go to our good buddy Steve from Conservative Monster. Steve, welcome to the Cooner Show. Hi, Jeff. Yes, Senator Inhofe is one of the bravest uh, that we have in, in the Senate right now. He's definitely not a rhino. He's got the guts for this fight. Uh, Barbara Boss is going to fight him on this, so he better be ready for that. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully the people in California will do the right thing and, and vote her out come November. But, uh, uh, you know, Gore is going to have a problem. And also, you should get Lord Moncton on the show. He would be great to, uh, uh, you know, talk about this. Oh, Steve, we're definitely going to get Lord Moncton on. But, Steve, let me just play devil's advocate. Actually, I, of course, you know, I agree with you on this. But let right. me just play devil's advocate for a second. In his op-ed piece in today's uh, Leftist Times, he comes out and says that even those scientists who made mistakes about certain predictions about global warming did so on the basis of good faith. And so why should they be pilloried or excoriated or, you know, take the lo logical argument, uh, investigated? Why should Al Gore be charged with perjury if he made a mistake based on good faith? What's your answer to that? Well, the climate gate, the emails, I mean, they're, they're going to have to start getting everyone to testify under oath and see if there is a conspiracy here, and was Al Gore part of this conspiracy? And, uh, you know, that, that's what they, they're going to have to start making people, subpoenaing people and uh, make them testify under oath. You nailed and it, Steve. That's it. You nailed it, and I want to thank you for that call. Yeah. Is the fact that climate gate, those emails at East Anglia University show conclusively there wasn't good faith? that they were deliberately suppressing the evidence. They were deliberately distorting and manipulating the evidence. In fact, they openly tell one another, what are we going to do with the countervailing evidence? How do we hide it? How do we fit it into our model? This is what Al Gore has been using to peddle his ideology, to peddle his green socialism, to go out and make billions of dollars upon your misery and your impoverishment. Make no mistake about it, my friends. If cap and trade is passed, if we have to have carbon credits, if we have to have a carbon tax, if we, your energy prices are going to go up, you're going to pay more for gas, you're going to pay more for heating, you're going to pay more for electricity. Pretty soon, Al Gore wants us to be off fossil fuels in 10 years. Do you know what that means? We won't drive cars. Our whole system based on oil and natural gas will have to be dis replaced. We are going to become a poorer country. We are going to lose our entire standard of living while he makes out like a bandit with hundreds of millions if not billions of dollars. He is the greatest shyster that I have ever seen. This guy makes Bernie Madoff look like a saint. Let's go to Michael in Annapolis. Michael, welcome to the Cooner Show. Hey, uh, great listening to you. Um, what a lot of people don't understand is the original model that started all of this global warming has been discredited by, I believe it was Cornell's math department, among others. So when you watch Al Gore's movie, he leaves out the very basis of global warming because it was discredited. It just kind of starts with just, just believe me and go with me on this. And there's no, you know, this is the old marketing approach. It's called the bandwagon approach. No greater way to get people involved than to say, listen, you don't have to do this, but if you don't, the whole world's going to end and you're going to be the reason. <laughs> you know? so, look, to me, it's comical. Should the man be prosecuted, you know, it's going to be tough to prosecute him because I believe, like all the other radicals and uh, you know, up on Capitol Hill and involved in this, they don't need a, a, a scientific basis for this. No, you're completely right, Michael. This is a quasi-religion. But what is at core here is a cynical, corrupt attempt to make money off of lies. And Al Gore went up on Capitol Hill 
He gave testimony, and we now know a lot of that testimony was based upon fraudulent science, and I believe he knew it. And I think Republicans, if they come back into power, should go after Al Gore. Ms. Senator Inhofe is right. Prosecute him for perjury. Al, you want to lie, there's a price to be paid. This is Jeff Cooner on 570 WTNT, Liberalism's Worst Nightmare. Hey, McNally proposal's ready. The big one? Yep. We give McNally these numbers this instant, 